Three essential veterinary emergency skills every dog owner should know. Number one, assess. Is this an emergency or not? Lift up their lips, look at their gum color. Are their gums bright and pink or are they pale, suggesting internal bleeding? If your dog is repeatedly vomiting, not bringing anything up, they have a large distended belly, they may be in bloat. That requires urgent treatment. Number two, what to do if your dog is poisoned. If your 10 pound dog has just eaten two tablespoons of these dark chocolate tips, you could be at risk of chocolate toxicity. Great idea to have this hydrogen peroxide on hand to be able to induce vomiting. If your dog dose, it is one teaspoon or five mils of the 3% hydrogen peroxide per 10 pounds of body weight. Rule is 20 pounds, your dose is 10 mils or two teaspoons. I put this into her syringe, tilt her head back, seek the syringe into the corner of her mouth, squirt it into her mouth, close her mouth. If you're unable to see an emergency veterinarian in a timely manner, it's a great idea to be able to induce vomiting. Three, your dog's been hit by a car, they're bleeding, they're in shock, do you know what to do? Lift up their lips, you look at their gum color, they're no longer bright pink, they're a pale color. That suggests internal bleeding, a dog in shock. Say they're bleeding out of their rear leg, I want you to get gauze, tea towel, whatever you have, gauze on top of the bleeding wound, compress it. If they bleed through that gauze, put more gauze on top. If the bleeding continues, you may need a compression bandage, you may need to be putting force above that wound, Perhaps the artery's been injured. Firmly wrap that lid and then get your dog to the emergency vet as soon as you can. If you like tips like these, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. Links in the bio.